As peace officers, it is our duty to preserve personal credibility, integrity, and not bring discredit to the profession while serving our communities, both on and off duty. This is accomplished in part through professionalism and maintaining positive relationships with our community members. The appearance of membership in cliques or subgroups has had a negative impact on our department's mission and created a negative public perception. This has undermined trust and increased the risk of civil liability. In February of 2020, I approved a department policy which prohibited employees from participating in any clique or subgroup promoting conduct which violated the rights of other employees or members of the public. Employee groups which violate rights of other employees or members of the public. Department personnel shall not participate or join in any group of department employees which promotes conduct that violates the rights of other employees or members of the public. Participation in these illicit groups, herein referred to as deputy cliques or subgroups, which often include an associated symbol and or tattoo, harms morale and erodes public trust. These groups undermine the department's goals and can create a negative public perception of the department, increasing the risk of civil liability to the department and involved personnel. Any employee engaging in misconduct of any kind, including but not limited to, the use of excessive force or mistreating or harassing others, will be subject to discipline. If the misconduct involves criminal allegations, the matter may be referred to the district attorney's office for possible prosecution. All personnel will be held accountable for this policy. Failure to adhere to this policy may subject violators to discipline. I want to provide clarity so every employee unmistakably understands. Any employee who aligns with a clique or subgroup which engages in any form of misconduct will be held accountable. I do not want you joining these alleged cliques anymore, period. This is a zero tolerance issue. So those who may have joined these cliques in the past, times have changed and you need to change with them. We cannot go back in time and undo those decisions. But moving forward, we want to better align ourselves with the public's expectations. This is what change in the culture of our organization looks like. From here on out, if anyone feels the need to join, participate in, or solicit others to join any non-approved department sanction group, that is unacceptable. Any action we can do to separate ourselves from the perception of these alleged cliques and their association with our department is how we must move forward. I recognize County Council has provided a legal opinion, indicating there are certain First and Fourth Amendment constitutional issues brought into question when the department takes unwarranted administrative action against individuals with similar tattoos or associations with cliques or subgroups. Contrary to department critics, I have seen no evidence of three or more deputies engaging in a criminal activity with a unifying symbol whose primary purpose is to commit crime. The overwhelming majority of deputies who socialize with each other are no different than any other social group in military organizations, sports teams, college fraternities, or even those that unite for a common cause. Tattoos are very common and their presence is not evidence of any sinister purpose absent evidence of associative misconduct. Claims of criminal conduct from trial and defense attorneys must be viewed in their proper context. Notwithstanding, all employees are advised to avoid joining cliques and subgroups. It has become clear the community feels department members who associate in these subgroups are wrong in doing so. This issue has driven a wedge between our department and the public we serve. This wedge can serve to delegitimize our department in the eyes of some. Without public trust, we are ineffective in the courageous and difficult work we perform each day. Never lose focus of this fact. We exist to serve others and their needs, not our own.